And now, a first look at the all-new season of Bridezilla's. It's time for the all-new epic reboot of Bridezilla's. It's my wedding day! These badass bitches are taking wedding eggs. I'm crying on my wedding day! To a whole new level. I will destroy you on social media. But this season, payback is a Zilla. <gasps> you can't get away with it. Karma's about to bite you in the ass. We're done here. We're done. Oh, damn. What? <laughs> and on this episode, hey! Carmen's the shrill Zilla. Where are you? Whose temperamental tendencies, what the f have her vendors dropping like flies. How the f is the makeup artist book another wedding? I'm gonna sue the f out of him. Plus, let's shoot guys. This gun toting Zilla is not to be trifled with. And when things start to go south, yes. everybody better watch out. Y'all wanna see someone mad? She's here! But when all is said and done, where's the groom? Did he leave? There's an ending you definitely won't see coming. We have an emergency. Somebody get shot? Next on Ride Zilla's. What happened? I need, like, three more limes. Meet country fried bride, Natasha, and her furry fiance, Joe. Hey, love. Hey, honey. Joe and I met on a dating website. I was just scrolling through all the creepers, because they're all creepers, and his beard caught my eye. Well, we all have our kinks. Case in point. What sets Natasha apart from other women? Oh, man. She has a real high pain tolerance. <laughs> Anything else? Anything at all? She's by far the best woman I've ever met and had in my life. Oh, Joe. You can't make me cry on TV. <laughs> I don't ever get this out of him, by the way. I don't know half the stuff that you're asking. He's never answered these questions, ever. <laughs> well, they'll have the rest of their lives for chit-chat. This wedding day is my little girl dream. It's in a barn. We can take our guns out. It's going to be a beautiful day. Then we can get drunk. woo -hoo. But before the party can get started, there's still a lot left for the Zilla to accomplish. We have five days left to prepare for this wedding. I've got so much crap to get done. I'm doing all the flowers, and my mom is supposed to be helping with the setup of the venue and the rehearsal dinner, but she's not reliable. I got you a wedding gift. You got me a wedding gift? That's nice. Is this for the wedding? Yes. Damn right, it's Tiffany Bluer. You knew I wouldn't have took it. I've realized the woman I'm about to marry is crazy. That's why I sleep with one eye open. From my future ex-husband. Future ex-husband. <laughs> Death do us part. And that might be sooner than he thinks, since apparently when Joe marries Natasha, he's getting a twofer. Pound cake is my alter ego. She has a whole persona. I tell everyone she's a stripper in Atlanta, but she's on house arrest. And we keep her on house arrest because she's dangerous. I've got five felonies with pound cake. <laughs> You do realize I've been a loose cannon for the past month. And out of all the gifts you could have got me, you got me a nine millimeter. Let me grab a drink. I have a wine cooler. Got my wedding dress online, sight unseen. And what could possibly go wrong with buying your wedding dress online? Luckily, Arzilla has lined up her mom for moral support. My mom and I have a love-hate relationship, but today, I'm ecstatic I have her with me for this dress fitting. I need the opinions. I need to make sure everything fits and nothing's sagging. Solid plan. Or it would be, but not for one minor wrinkle. Hey. Amy White is pulling back in for another surgery. She's got a blockage in her leg. They may have to take it off. OK, Mom. My mom's sister, she's got a lot of health issues, and so evidently they're doing emergency surgery. Fire, fire, please. All right, Mama. Oh, God. This is horrible. I can't understand you. I said this is horrible. I can't, I can really, right now, I cannot deal with your stress. I can't do it. 
do I need to come to you? Do I need to go to her? What do I need to do? You do what you feel like you need to do. Okay. Support the family member facing an amputation or go to a dress fitting for a cranky zilla. Decisions, decisions. All right, bye. My mom just ditched me. What the f ever. Phone call completed. But if Natasha seems a little apathetic, well, there's a perfectly good reason. They've already amputated one leg, and they're talking about amputating this one now. I don't really know Elaine like that. I just can't deal with her drama. I just can't do it right now. And since this is Aunt Elaine's second leg, but Natasha's first wedding, she prioritizes. Cut it off. They make pretty new ones for you that you can bedazzle. I've got a dress to try on. Meet California Cougar, Carmen. Hi, honey. How was your day? How are you? Hi. I'm 40 years old, and I've been dreaming about getting married since I was five, playing with Barbies. And here's her boy toy to be, Isaiah. Carmen is older than I am, but we good. We're two peas in the pod, right, honey? Yeah. Love you, honey. This May-December romance initially began as a family affair. We met at a friend's party, and then he remembered I used to hang out with his mom. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> okay. But while Carmen may be robbing the cradle, clean your lipstick. At least she has an excellent bedside manner. I woke up one morning and found him on the floor, and he had gone into cardiac arrest. He was in a coma for one month. He's so lucky that I was able to help him. Without my help, he would have died. Carmen is my angel. And since she saved his life and all, there was only one way for Isaiah to repay her. Can you believe our wedding is coming up so fast? Are you excited like me? He can hardly contain himself. This wedding is about me and me only. And if my perfect wedding is not done to my standards, I am going to kill everyone. Your heart is beating fast like you're nervous. Hey, love. How are you? My undergarments don't fit. Great. Here's hoping the dress does. So how many pounds you lost, you mentioned? I don't know. I didn't buy my dress till a month ago because I had weight loss surgery six months ago. I'm now at 100 pounds lost. I now am shrinking so much that we've had to take my dress in almost four sizes in the back. And waited four days out to try it on again. Let me know if you need any help, sweetie. Ugh. I'm pissed because I've lost 100 pounds. I got saggy skin everywhere. My boobs went from an E to now I'm a D. And now I got to wear a jacket because I got the lunch lady arms. All right. How you feel? I'm just not happy with the stress. I don't know. You're supposed to get that wow factor, and I just don't get it. And I'm heartbroken because this is what everyone wants. You want this pretty dress. You want to walk down the aisle. I want Joe's eyes and mouth to drop. And I just don't feel pretty in it. I would have rather have just had a solid lace. But it's OK. I feel like a glittery hooker. <laughs> well, you look great. Congratulations. It. Probably wear leggings on my day. Well, it's all about keeping things in perspective. Much, much needed perspective. Hello? I just tried on my wedding dress. It's a mess. We, we can fix I got a blazer for a top because my lunch lady arms. Like, legit, Leanne, my, I got bat wings. Mom was supposed to come today, and she ditched me like always. I have so much I have to do. Flowers have to be done. The rehearsal dinner has to be made. And I'm just not sure I should trust my mom to do that anymore. I don't know if we're going to make it to Saturday without pound cake coming out. Are you going to be OK? 
five days before the wedding, Carmen is deeply concerned about air quality. Call Monique, wedding planner. I know I look like a nut right now, but the mask is gonna protect me from inhaling those dangerous toxins that are in the air. I'm not gonna have anything ruin my day. There might be one or two bigger issues as Carmen's wedding planner has left several urgent messages this morning. Hi, Monique, I am so sorry. I know you've been blowing me up this morning. What's up? You've been able to pull over for this because I have something that I need to tell you. I got an email from the photographer and it was an out of office email saying, I am currently out of the office getting married. All messages will be responded to when I return on 10 20. Wait a minute, so you're telling me that the photographer <laughs> took my money and ran because he's getting married? My photographer has some issues with me over money, and now he's trying to ruin my wedding. He's no, getting married? I Where is his wedding? Hopefully somewhere far, far away. Oh, he's he's using my money for his wedding. That's what he's doing. He's using my money for his wedding. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm going to sue the out of him. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This wedding has made me crazy. It's made me bananas. I'm delirious. I am neurotic. No kidding. He will never pick up another camera again. The all-new season of Bridezilla's Friday at 10, only on WeTV.